Lil Boosie, first of all, I want to say welcome back. Welcome back home. Yeah. I saw the freestyle that your young kid did. You've been gone five years. What has changed since you've been gone? As far as me, as far as society. For, as far as society. Uh, what was your biggest surprise? You can look at people and talk on the phone, FaceTime. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was like a big surprise to me. Uh, society has changed in a whole as far as technology, you know. I got to get back on technology. When I left, it was iPhone 1 had just come out. Right. So uh, I got to get back on society. And I, I changed as a person as far as uh, make a better, making better decisions in life and then just... Uh, was it hard being in prison and uh, being uh, diabetic? Uh, do they treat you well? Do they get you your medicine on time? How was that? Yeah, they got me my medicine on time, but I just don't feel like the doctors are better than free world doctors. You know, I, I, I just don't think they go to the extremes like, like your personal doctor would. But uh, it was hard being... And it I couldn't eat right. I, could, I couldn't eat like I wanted to and, 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 and take my insulin. Like if I'm only getting served a small portion, but I'm taking 30 units of insulin, it's easy for it to drop. When on the street, if I'm taking that, I can go get a snack and stuff like that. So it was hard, but I made it through, you know. And, you know, you've been gone, and a lot of people have been screaming free boosting. And a lot of people do that all the time. Yeah. But how many people showed you real love and you know held you down uh, i had some people hold me down i, ain't, I don't want i don't want to go hard on nobody uh, <laughs> you know. but i had some people hold me down uh through this i had i had my fans i had my family first right you know and god zero i had god for anything so uh i had my attorneys uh Jason Williams, James uh, Johnson, uh, Martin Reagan, even got one from our childhood, Carl Moore. Uh, man, we, I, had, I had people in my corner, man, NAACP, man. I, I had people fighting with me because these dudes, they, they knew what kind of kind of dude I was. And, you know, they, they knew they had me bad. You know? And you were in jail, and I heard uh, a story like you were locked in lockdown for a while. Why were you locked down, and how did you make it through that? Uh, I was locked down because the charges I had, uh, they didn't want me in general population. When I first came to prison, I was in general population. But when all the charges started piling up on me, I was put on, uh, I was put on lockdown for like, uh, 23 hours and 45 minutes a day for like, uh, 27 months. Wow. And you said, how many songs did you write while you were incarcerated? 1,018. Are we going to hear those? Are you going to put those? A lot of times I hear rappers, I they... Write them. I ain't writing them to put them on the wall. <laughs> I mean, a lot of times they go in jail and they write some stuff, but they don't think that material is up to par. Do you think your material is up to par? Yeah, because I, I, just, I just didn't write about jail. Okay. Like, every week was a different topic. You know, one week, pain. One week, women. One week, what's going on in the world. One week, family. Uh, so I kept it leveled out, you know. You got young kids. What was the hardest thing about going to jail? Was it leaving, leaving your kids, leaving your family, leaving the streets? What was it? Leaving my kids and my mom. That was, that was, that was the hardest thing, leaving my, um, leaving my kids and my mama, you know. My youngest son was born a month after I came to prison. So he was, you know, his first four or five months come and see me, he would just stare at me, you know. <laughs> But as time went on, he just, he ran to me. He loved me like I was out there, you know. So I thank my mama for that and, and his mama. So, you know, we, we got a good relationship. But leaving those kids was hard because even though they still had, you know, they ain't seem too happy, you know. Did you get a lot of love when you were incarcerated? Were, you know, the security guards, were the prisoners, was it love? Not from the security guard. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, not a prison, not a not the prisoners. You know, it was just like the streets; they respected me. So uh, I ain't had no problem with prisoners or whatever at all. You know, they respected me to the fullest. But I had problems with the security guards. Wow, we got a uh, 
a lady in Houston. Her name is H T Town Sierra. And the other day we was playing a mix. You were going against Tupac. Yeah. And she says you're the new Tupac. She says you speak for her generation uh, and stuff like that. How do you feel about people comparing you to Tupac? <clears throat> Well, it, it's a it's a privilege to be be compared to him, but Tupac, Tupac, Boosie, Boosie. You right. know, I just feel like uh, people say that because we both rap about we got similarities. We both rap, we both make songs for our mama. We both rap about the struggle and the have nots and things like that, and uh, and we both got in a little trouble. So. Uh, <laughs> So I think that's why people go there with that. But when you when you make that heartfelt music, you get put in the category with legends like that. So you hear that at East Town Sierra. She has nothing but love for you. We love you in the Shout city. Shout out to East Town Sierra. <laughs> oh man, that's so real. Uh, your life, amazing life. And like I said before, so many people, they got nothing but love for you. Um, have you ever thought about doing a reality show? Uh, I've been I've been getting crazy offers for them, but right now I'm not doing a reality show. Uh, now, Buku money do kind of talk, but <laughs> but but uh, right now I'm not interested in a reality because I ain't really gonna have time. It'll have to be something just following me to the studios and stuff like that. But I, I got my own cameras for that, you know. Instead of giving me money, I could film my own thing and sell it to them, you know. So. Uh, I won't say in the future, but right now that's not that's not a main thing on my agenda. But if they talk something that'll make my hands sweat, right. if my hands sweat, we might we might we might be talking to reality show. Did you read any books, anything while you were locked? I read music book, m music business books, you know, and the Bible. Keep your eye on the game, rappers, any of those. Nah, I ain't listen to no music. I never did. I stay focused on. On my music, you know, that's why it really don't sound like nobody else's music. Cause I never, I, I never, I never paid attention to what was going on in the game. I was too busy, you know, focusing on on my music. And like, I ain't, I ain't know unless I, I ain't know you unless I read. I used to get Hip Hop Weekly magazine. Right. If I seen you and now, I'd be like, oh, I, I, you know, I know, I heard of him, I seen him, but as far as Buying people uh, music? Nah, I ain't do that. You saw your daughter on Instagram? Did, did, have you got a chance to see your daughter on Instagram? <laughs> yeah, I got a chance to see her. What you think, man? We played it over and over, over and over as soon as she did it. What you think about that? Uh, I ain't like the word she said with the N word, but uh, she was hype, you know, and she was one of the kids who... You know, she and you know, she was in magnet school and she had to go through a lot of your dad ain't coming home, your dad messing with her, picking with her. And she was the one coming to visit and be like, Daddy, is you ever coming home? You know, and I think when I called her on the phone when she and I told her daddy was home, uh, I just think something came out of her that, you know, that been waiting to come out of her, you know, so uh I told her I ain't want to say in a word or whatever, but I ain't whoop her, you know. She's a straight-A student, you know. Okay, and one last question. Uh, trials can cost a lot of money. A lot of times, rappers end up broke fighting the charges. Are you good? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. You don't see my pants? <laughs> I, see pants. I see you. I see you, dog. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm, I'm good. I, I didn't shook back. Uh, but, yeah, I, I got low when I was in there, you know. Having lawyer money, you know, I was just happy that I, I had the money to get get the legal representation I had. You know, I had Jason Williams, Martin Ray, Jason Williams like Johnny Cochran. <laughs> you know, it's a bad boy. You bad know, boy. yeah, yeah, a real bad boy. You know, if you get in trouble, I let me. In five years, you were gone. In five years, whether you four and four months, it, it, okay. see everybody be saying five. They they miss me like that. That's why they, yeah, that's why they said five. But it was four years, four months. Okay, what do you see yourself in the next four years? Uh, I'm trying to be have some Jay Z status, Puff Daddy status like that. I'm aiming for that. For that. All right. Thank you so much, Boosie.